Well, Ron, I see your peach tree does have something for us to look at here. Yeah, I can see bore problems already. <clears throat> Whenever you see those sap nodules on there. And that <clears throat> brass finds the bore is there. Right. <clears throat> so okay. okay, this is last year's, which means they're probably pupating. And they'll come out and lay eggs again in the spring or summer. Yeah, and this is a real problem, uh, Curtis, because they've restricted the pesticides that we used to control these uh, bores with now, and uh, <clears throat> we're, we're struggling to find a, a, a better solution. There have been some changes in the pesticide laws, which have resulted in a lot of the pesticides we'd use for controlling this pest. They've been taken off the market. They're not available anymore, or they soon will not be available. We're down to using uh, parasitic nematodes, which is a biological control, which is a good way to go. What you need to do is moisten this well, water it well, then you come in here and clean this material off of the tree very easily. Then you can spray or you can uh, drench the tree by pouring these little tiny microscopic worms into this area. They don't travel very far, so you won't get them close. That's why you clean it up. But they'll go in and they parasitize. They kill the boar, which is a good thing. And so uh, this is a good way we can treat it now. And its effectiveness is supposed to be pretty good. Well, great. If that does the job, that'll be a, a real blessing. Just a little harder to come by. You're going to have to mail order it through an insect tree. And mm -hmm. it has to be used pretty qu quickly after you receive it. Real good.